Owing to many technological developments, the world in 2040 will seem drastically transformed. Everything from nanotechnologies to the metaverse will exist, and they have the ability to rapidly alter people's lifestyles. While some of these developments may have a tremendous influence on the world, others may pose a threat. It's always and only a matter of time before the world is completely transformed into something we may not be able to fully understand as of now. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Join us as we take a fascinating journey through how the world would look in 2040 with everything totally advanced. AR, VR and Metaverse By 2040, a number of prominent tech businesses will have made important contributions to the Metaverse, which will appeal to individuals of all ages and demographics. For those of you who don't know what the Metaverse is, it's a virtual world in which we will be performing all our daily functions, right from working our jobs to gaining entertainment from it. More than likely, the ordinary person will utilize the Metaverse and its accompanying hardware components as much as they do the internet and cell phones now. In 2040, the average person could have highly complex and realistic 3D avatars with multiple clothes to pick from as well as hundreds or thousands of unique clothing items. They may have 3D living areas and even doorways to the Metaverse planets that they have bookmarked. They might also have a 3D virtual work environment with a customized set of programs that are optimized for use in the Metaverse. Virtual reality assets, augmented reality glasses, smartphones, smartwatches, and other digital assets may be available across numerous devices, and those assets might be accessed through a variety of apps that were previously considered unrelated to one another. Virtual habitats, for instance, socializing. In the metaverse, there might be a wide range of virtual habitats, for instance, socializing, conducting meetings, or simply just exercising in it instead of going to the physical gym. Fitness instruction, employment, and career training, product demos, virtual keynote addresses, marketplaces to buy virtual and tangible products, and many more such facilities or some other features individuals would be using on this platform. Additionally, most major cities and institutions might have user-generated, location-specific holograms superimposed to provide navigation evaluations and 3D animations of past events. Computer Submerged with Human Brains Ray Kurzweil, a futurist and technologist, predicted that by mid-2030s, we would be able to connect the human neocortex to the cloud. That prediction may come true by 2040. From 2030 onwards, brain-computer interfaces could substantially advance, and they could be widely employed for everyday tasks. They may also become regular accessories for virtual reality headsets, such as high-end VR helmets and full-dive VR experiences. Furthermore, some brain-computer interfaces may be fully implanted for medical use. People can employ brain-computer interfaces to manipulate items in video games and virtual environments with high decent precision when it comes to fun. Video game developers may start incorporating this technology into their games too. Also, when it comes to servicing individuals with spinal cord injuries, brain-computer interfaces could have the most significant impact, allowing patients to regain more power and control over their senses. Driving won't be a thing anymore. By 2040, autonomous vehicles may be able to run without the need for human intervention. Cities and districts that are particularly designed to handle Level 5 autonomous vehicles would be the key element that would speed this progress. To limit the risk of accidents, this could entail designating particular areas of the city for autonomous vehicles and others for pedestrians. It could also entail erecting sensor-embedded walls so that the location of each autonomous vehicle can be tracked in a network. These types of networks will track all vehicles, stop lights, street conditions, and much more as they develop laying the groundwork for the world's first smart cities. Artificial intelligence take over education system. By 2040, AI may have taken over large portions of the educational system. Students may be able to access AI professors using virtual reality and augmented reality gadgets. Based on the information presented to them, as well as verbal and physical cues, AI teachers could provide tailored teaching. An AI teacher, for example, can notice a student's dialect, accent, and interests and adjust the way it teaches to keep that student engaged. If a student enjoys basketball, AI professors could rewrite math and English problems to make them more relevant to the sport. In addition, AI might assign each student a customized homework assignment based on their speed. All basic costs and the educational system would be reduced, allowing more individuals to attend high-quality, standardized education. Human teachers can also take on fewer students in wealthy regions in order to become their personal mentors and coaches. Robots to take over jobs The number of service robots on the planet could reach 1 billion by the end of 2030s and the beginning of the 2040s, and it'll continue to expand fast. Personal and professional service robots could be the two distinct classes of robots available then. Vacuum cleaners, lawn mower toys, personal mobility machines, and pet exercise robots are examples of personal robots. Professional service robots would be employed for commercial purposes and would typically be controlled and monitored by appropriately trained personnel. Medical robots conducting surgery, firefighting robots, 
automated security patrols, cleaning machines in public places, delivery robots, and so on are examples of professional service robots. Industrial robots will also play a significant role in society, particularly in industries, but they will be far fewer than the first two types. Most robots can now recognize and interact with a wide range of things in real time, while also giving real-time information to clients. Manufacturing jobs all across the world would have mostly vanished as a result of these robots. All of this could be made possible by advances in machine learning, cloud computing, central technology, and other fields. Establishment of First Permanent Lunar Base Government and commercial businesses could establish a permanent human presence on the moon by the late 2030s. The expected expansion of the asteroid mining industry, which might generate trillions of dollars in revenue over the following decades, would be part of the motivation for this milestone. Construction of this lunar outpost would be cheaper and easier with 3D printing than with other technologies. Using rock and dust from the moon's surface, new tools, spare parts, and other components would be used to aid in such constructions. NASA might lead this lunar colony with the help of the European Space Agency, the Canadian Space Agency, and the number of commercial enterprises. In conjunction with Russia, China may possibly build its own lunar base. Future of Hypersonic Airliners A new generation of airliners could enter commercial service after decades of research and development. The cruise speed of this aircraft might be Mach 5, which is more than seven times faster than a standard passenger jet and five times faster than the speed of sound. Hypersonic jets can travel from New York to California in 30 minutes and from New York to London in less than four hours. There are various advantages to using them. They can be smaller than a Boeing 747 and use standard runways too. They would also produce a substantial amount of takeoff noise, which is quite an advantage. The only drawback would be the lack of windows, which would be too heavy for this style of aircraft. Installation of flat screen screens that show footage of the world outside could be one answer to this challenge. Mining will extend towards moon and asteroids. By 2040, Commercial space businesses could be utilizing space resources such as metals and minerals from the moon and asteroids. In terms of innovation and wealth creation, it has the potential to become a key growth area. Asteroid mining may account for only a small percentage of world goods by 2040. However, in the coming decades, it's largely predicted to account for a significant portion of the commodities market. Elon Musk, a well-known American business entrepreneur, might become the world's first trillionaire before 2040 thanks to moon and asteroid mining and the stock market related to this industry. Carbon Nanotubes New technology for producing carbon nanotubes could be developed after decades of research. Carbon nanotubes are carbon tubes with diameters measured in nanometers. A nanotube can be made up of a single sheet of carbon atoms or a hollow core made up of many layers of wrapping. The length of these constructions might be thousands of miles. They can also be hundreds of times more powerful than steel. Carbon nanotubes can be used in a variety of ways. Bulletproof jackets, water-resistant apparel, lightweight composites for cars, planes and spacecraft, radiation shield materials, next-generation materials, fortunes, distance, and water purification are among the items that can be made using carbon nanotubes. Some would even argue that it allows for the construction of a space elevator. Solar Power from Space Many power grids could use electricity supplied from space-based solar power by 2040. The system entails the launch of a number of huge satellites into Earth's orbit. Each satellite would feature a massive nanotech-based surface for a nearly two-mile-long solar array. The energy of the sun would be captured by these solar arrays, which would then be projected down to Earth through lasers. The energy would be collected in large collecting dishes on the ground, which would then be converted into useful electricity. One important benefit of this strategy is that these satellites can be exposed to sunlight 24 hours a day rather than the 12 hours a day that ground-based panels can. The panels would require high-strength protection due to space debris. A nanotechnology-based composite could also be used in some of the high-tech panels to self-heal if damage occurs. These satellites are expected to appear in orbit around the Moon and Mars to deliver energy to mankind on a regular basis. And over the next two centuries, enough of these satellites may orbit the Earth to absorb and gather nearly all of the sunlight in some fashion. With that information, we've reached the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we can't wait to have you back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!